Welcome to another episode of Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Amanda Lind, an application specialist here at the company. Today, Amanda will be talking to us about how to create multiple map views in Global Mapper. All right, Amanda, take it away. Thanks, Rachel. So Global Mapper automatically opens one 2D view, as you can see here on my screen. Here I'm displaying a New York parcels layer and then two additional layers that I've pulled from the online data tool. This works without even any data at all, but this is what I've pulled for today's demonstration. Along with the 2D view that's automatically loaded, you can load additional 2D views and also the 3D window. So to add a 2D view, you go to View, come down to the bottom of that menu and click on Add Remove Map Views. And in the 2D Map View Manager, click the button to add a new map view. And one automatically appears with the default settings to match your first view. Now this is a floating window. It's very common across Global Mapper, and you'll see as I grab this top bar that I'm given options of where I would like to dock this across Global Mapper. You can dock it within the existing 2D window, or you can dock it within Global Mapper as a whole. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to dock this on the right side here, just like that. The options we have within the 2D Map View Manager are to link this zoom between the two map views or between however many map views you have open. So if I check that option and I zoom in on either map view, the other map view will mirror, so they stick together. You can also choose to check the option to link the center points of the 2D map views. So now not only will they zoom together in tandem, but I can also navigate and pan around the data set and they will stick together. Now having two views to show you the exact same thing isn't necessarily useful, but one of the ways that you can make this more useful is to change which layers are displayed in the different map views. So you can click on a map view and click the option to select layers, and this will show you which layers are displayed within the map view. So I selected 2D view 1, you can see that it's labeled on the top bar here, and I'm going to turn off everything except world imagery. So when I click OK, everything will have been turned off. You can see that it's still present in the first map view, and it's still turned on in the control center. The control center is still the master switch, if you will, for all of the layers loaded. If I turn off something in the control center, then it's going to turn it off for all data, all layers loaded. You have an option here called the primary map view. And that basically specifies which map view is the primary one. And it really only has one implication in that when you open the 3D view and you have this option here next to the 3D view to link 2D and 3D views, when you move the map around, the 3D viewer will stick to the primary view. So let's go ahead and look at that. I'm going to click to open the 3D viewer. I'm going to dock it down here on the bottom just so we can see. And then with this, link 2D in 3D views option toggled on, when I zoom in to this map view, the 3D viewer will mirror, so I can work in three different views at the same time. You can also choose to change which view is primary. If I wanted to change it to 2D view 1, I would right click on it and select the option to make selected um, view the primary view. You can also choose to zoom in to the visible layer bounds or you could, again, choose the select layers to display in view, just like we did earlier with the select layers button. Another view that you can pull up is the view overview map here in the view menu, just below the add remove map views. And this isn't an option that you can edit with, but it just shows you where the different views are that you're working with. So move these around a little bit. So if I uncheck the option to link the center points, for example, and then I pan one of my views over, you can see over here that these two views are separating. And it's basically showing me what I'm looking at at kind of a grand scale of things. But I'm going to go ahead and click, click to link these together. And you can close the Map View Manager without having to worry about closing your data sets. You can load as many views as you've liked. I've loaded up to 25 on my little laptop here and have yet to have any side effects. You can spread them all across different monitors and really, really take up the space here to do whatever you need to do. And one example of a use for these 2D views is to look at the digitizing tool. So for example, if I wanted to digitize over in this window where 
the, the parcel data isn't loaded, so I don't have to worry about snapping or being influenced by any pre-existing data, I could go ahead and do that. So to draw a line feature or an area feature, I'll go ahead up here and grab the digitizer tool. And I'll grab the create area features tool because that's the feature I would like to create. And I'll just go ahead and outline this building because it's not included in the data set I already have. And you can see as I click, as I navigate around, that this is reflected not only in the other 2D view, but also in the 3D view. So I can get multiple perspectives of what I'm creating. And once I'm finished, I can save it to an existing layer, just like you would with a single 2D view. And that is how you manage Fusing Global Mapper. Back to you, Rachel. Amanda, thank you so much for showing us that workflow. I think our viewers will find it very interesting. To learn more about Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, please visit www.bloomrebelgeo.com today. And as always, thank you so much for joining us for Ask the Experts, and I hope you'll join us for our next episode.